Hi everyone, I'm Priyata Kalra, Senior Scientist at Simulations Plus. In this video, I will show you how to set up dosing schedule in GPX. This is a part of GPX tutorial series. In the earlier videos, we have shown you that assets are the building block and the foundation of simulation. In this tutorial, we will explore dosing schedule, which is an asset in GPX, and it is a snapshot of the frequency at which a formulation is dosed to the physiology. We will use the project, my first project, that was shown in the tutorial, creating a project from scratch. In that tutorial, you have learned how to make two dosing schedules for a single formulation of 10 mg and 20 mg of oral immediate release tablet. In this tutorial, we will cover two different root dosing regimen scenarios. The first one is the basic repeat dosing schedule, which will have 50 mg of oral IR tablet administered once per day over the course of three days. Then we will cover advanced repeated dosing schedule, which will have a dosing regimen for a week. Here, on the first day, we will administer 20 mg of IV dose, which will be followed by repeat dose of 50 mg oral IR tablet administered once per day over the course of two days. Let's dive into GPX to do this. You can see on my screen that I have opened my first project already on GPX. We will now navigate to the dosing panel. In the dosing panel, you can see that you already have an oral IR tablet that was defined in the previous tutorials. In the dosing schedule, we will now define the basic repeat dosing schedule which is a dose regimen of 50 mg oral immediate release tablet administered once per day for, its, for three days. We will copy the first record of the dosing schedule and rename it to the meaningful name of 50 mg PO tablet repeated over the course of three days. Now we are going to click on OK. Once we do that, we will have to redefine the amount in milligrams to 50 milligrams in order to replicate the dose of 50 milligrams. There are two ways that we can define the repeat of the dosing regimen. The first way is we can say that we would like to have three administrations of this particular dose over a course of the interval of 24 hours of administration interval. Once we have defined this, we can go to the simulation. In the simulation, we are going to create a new simulation for 50 milligram repeat dosing schedule. To do so, we can just copy the simulation of 10 milligram and rename it to compound X 50 milligram PO repeated three times. We can now click on OK. In the dose schedule, we will now change that from 10 mg tablet PO to 50 mg tablet PO repeated three times. When we look at the configuration, the current simulation length is only for one day, but we have a dose form which is dosed over the course of three days. And therefore, we are going to change the simulation length to 72 hours. After doing so, we will run the simulation and we will see in the key view the three different dose schedules are now available in the plot. The second way to define this dosing schedule as a repeat dose is as following. I will change the administration interval from 24 hours to zero and I will reset the administrations to one again. In the second way, you can do the repetition of the dosing schedule three times and you can repeat this particular dosing schedule every 24 hours. 
after setting this setting up, we can go back again to the simulations and run again this particular simulation. And we will see that we will have the same result. Now, let's go for scenario two, which is an advanced repeat dosing schedule. This is a combination of intravenous and oral doses. We have seen that in this particular project, we just have oral dose. So the first thing we are going to do is define or add a new dose, which is going to be an intravenous dose. To do so, we will click on the button Add. We will enter IV bolus as the formulation name, and we are going to click OK. We will then change the route from oral to intravenous. Now we are set to create the advanced repeat dosing schedule of IV dose of 20 mg dosed for the first day, followed by a repeat dose of 50 mg oral dose every day for two days. We will further repeat this dosing regimen for four days to be able to make this regimen last for a week. In the dosing schedule, we will copy the dosing schedule of 50 milligram tablet PO three times and give it a more descriptive name of 20 milligram IV 50 milligram tablet PO dosed twice. Once we do that, we will click on OK. Now, we are going to go into the formulation and change the formulation from oral IR tablet to IV bolus, as that is the first dose of our dosing regimen. We will then change the amount from 50 to 20 milligrams. We have now set the dosing schedule of IV bolus. In order to add the dosing schedule of the remaining oral doses, we are going to click on Add Dose Administration. Once we click on that, we will have a new row introduced of the dose administration. Here, we are going to change the formulation from IV bolus to oral IR tablet. We will then change the amount from 20 to 50 milligram. And we will also change the time at which this dose starts. This dose starts after the end of first day or on day second. Therefore, we will have the time of 24 hours of the starting of this dose. Then we will add another or IR tablet dose where we will have the same amount of 50 milligram, but in this case, the start time would be 48 hours, which is third day. After this, we are going to repeat the dosing schedule for two times because this is going to be repeated for the course of one week, and we are going to repeat the dosing schedule every 72 hours. Once we have defined that, we are going to go to the simulations and copy the simulation of compound X, which we created for the basic dosing regimen. We are then going to change the name for compound X 20 milligram IV 50 milligram. And then we are going to click OK. Here we will change the dose schedule from the basic dosing regimen schedule to the advanced dosing regimen schedule. Once we have done so, we will also change in the configuration the simulation length, which will move from 72 hours to 168 hours, representing the whole week. Once we have set all of this up, we are ready to run the simulation. We click on Run Simulation. And here you can see the dosing regimen repeated over the course of a week with the first IV dose repeated by two oral doses. Again, an IV dose repeated by two oral doses. With this, we close this particular tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention and for watching.